This new program, it's everything we've been waiting for. Mr. Lyon, I'm a very big fan of your work. Which bit of my work? Have you heard of Peter Darrell? He was killed last night. It will be reported as a robbery. It wasn't. Mackenzie. We are embarking on a truly exciting journey. The hour is coming. This man. This is Mr. Reginald Thompson. Like many young men newly arrived from the West Indies, he needs a place to rest for the night. Not far from Victoria would be best. He starts a new job at the railway station tomorrow, and he wants to be on time for work. Now look to my left. This is Mr. Alfred Baker, also newly arrived in the city, also about to take up employment tomorrow in the clerk's office close to Lincoln's Inn. Victoria is not an ideal location, but it's cheap Here comes the smile. and needs must. Yes, there it is. Here's what happened when we followed them in their search for logic. Counting down. Three, two, one. Roll Freddy. I'm going in. Victoria, you will find a hotel or a bed and breakfast on every street. Ready to take a guess to the Dutch shelter. Are you in discomfort, or does it just seem as if you have a pickle up your backside? Freddy. I want that man banned from the set. It's camera two, then back to camera one. Three cameras, three lights. You're a beat behind every time. And with 75,000 immigrants arriving so in the sure colonies, all with hope for it. When it's red, you hit your light. If I could see my light, then I would hit my light. Clear the set, please, ladies and gentlemen. Clear the set. He's here. Going hard on the first question. Have you got them? Yes, I know what I'm doing. Mr. Thompson, could you tell us what happened? The lady was very polite. Wrong. Star jumps behind the bloody camera if you have to. Behave. Mr. Lyon, I, I can't breathe. Can I let the American space program know. One young man with nowhere to sleep tonight. If you're white, then you're all right. Freddie Lyon. For the okay, and go to camera two. One. One, uh, one, camera one, sorry. Good evening, Mr. Gabot. It's You're Gabor, an not Gabot. In Britain. I hope you'll agree that that was a very interesting insight into the day-to-day -day prejudice faced by an immigrant arriving in London. Well, yes, it was, um, although I don't know the Notting Hill area well. Something's wrong. Ask the question. Ask the bloody question. And where are you from? Well, actually, Biggin Hill. Now, the, uh, the congestion is particularly bad. Interrupt him! Uh, Interrupt! Take the A232 and join the A236 at Croydon. Of course. That's he hasn't got a question. A217, which goes all the way to the Wandsworth Bridge. Once over the river, I do find it's preferable to follow the Fulham Palace Road. Anything rather than face the hordes on the Bayswater Road. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure your viewers would agree with that. <laughs> three weeks. Well, you said three weeks. Four. I said, give him four. Clear. That's a wrap, everyone. I can't. Hello. Ron, Ooh. move that Mars set. We won't be needing it. How difficult is it? We write the questions, you ask them. Questions on the future of the British colony of Cyprus. A slot you scrapped. It's not my fault if you don't pick up the right crib sheet. What a bloody puppet. No, you're right. The puppet wanted more. Freddy. Away. Right. Your charm is wearing thin, Hector. I wouldn't call it charm. I'd call it trying to make the best of a shoddily run show. It's a farce. It's a bloody farce. Mad arm waving. You screaming at me. No. You are the farce. You! Clarence? Clarence! 
We've got a terrific piece for next week on the credit squeeze. It's very exciting. Very exciting. I look forward to it. You should. You really should. Good night. I'm sorry. Next week. Do better. Please do better. 